Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the skit session where we are going to talk about software quality industry trends and my name is Herschel. I work as a software product specialist at Qmetry and today we are going to talk about shift left continuous quality through BDD and instant automation. I'm sure we have heard about the conventional methodologies like waterfall testing, agile testing and the whole V model testing. Now we are going, we are hearing a lot about shift left continuous quality and what does that mean and why do I need that shift left continuous quality, right? Uh, so here are some of those uh, highlights that drive us towards shift left testing and one being test early and often. So what do you mean by test early and often is you want to test as much as possible earlier in the life cycle and as much as uh, as many times so that you can detect the defects earlier in the life cycle which gives your engineering team enough time to fix those defects rather than um, leaking those defects in the production and then fixing those defects which incurs a higher engineering cost then you want to write your automation earlier in the life cycle as well so that you are not doing your redundant task you are not you are uh, getting your ROI of your automation earlier in the life cycle and you want to uh, engage everyone in your testing process you don't want only the QA teams uh, doing the QA or doing uh, be, be there for the quality of the product but you want everyone responsible of the product to own that quality problem and that's where shift left helps us so let's understand what is the conventional model and what is the shift left model so what you see here on the left hand side we have a very conventional model which is, we call it as an ice cream cone model where the cream of the testing as I would like to say is bulk uh, of the testing done manually where uh, approximately about 70% of your testing is done manually and there is very limited automation at say unit testing layer and integration test layer uh, and some query automation which is about 30% and in shift left when we want to get to all these four different factors, we want to test uh, early in the life cycle through automation and that's where we start writing automation early in the life cycle. So if you see here, this is the whole inverted cone or inverted pyramid where bulk of your testing is done through automation, where your unit tests are automated, you have your 70% um, of testing is covered through your unit test automation. Uh, as well as the API and integration automation and then you have say about 25% being covered through your automated GUI testing and uh, whereas very minimal manual testing is required say at UAT layer well, where you might have some 5% of testing to be done before you push your code to production and that's where shift left is changing the whole dynamics where you are driving a higher ROI through automation you are driving uh, or a reduction in time to market and uh, that's where uh, concepts like BDD and instant automation help this whole shift left continuous quality. So this is uh, the whole shift left model. Stay tuned how shift left continuous quality is driven by BDD and instant automation. We are going to talk about those in our subsequent videos. Thank you.